Nuts and Bolts is about me learning about things that I like and in the end making something really, really awesome. I want to make an off-road electric go-kart. I obviously don't know what the f it takes to make a go-kart, but I have ideas and that's all it takes. <gasps> I'm taking the go-kart off some ramps. You can't explain speed. It's the controlling. It's like chess for me. And it uh, it allows my brain to think. You start the car, put it in drive, and that's when I just open that bitch up. That's what I like to call it. Look at eight cars ahead, knowing what that car gonna do. Do I switch now? Do I switch later? Your shit trash, nigga. Boom, I'm gone. Beep, beep. What's up, bitch? Arr! Hit the brakes, he's still going. Boom. This car blow the f up. A tiger come out of nowhere and attack the baby. Phew! Go to fifth, and I'm out. Bucky Lasik went from skateboarding to racing these big dirt car things, and I figured he'll be able to help me out with getting better at racing before I built this go-kart. I'm in the process of building a go-kart right now. I got something in store for you guys. Whoa, what you got in store for me, B-Money? Uh... <laughs> You trying to get buck? <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to jump in a Polaris RZR. What is that? It's like a buggy. It's like an off-road buggy, two-seater. And it's, it's really nimble. It's really fast. And we're actually going to do some jumping. How fast does this thing go? No? OK. How fast does this mother Go. Go. You, you can't say that on that TV. How fast does this car go? <laughs> this goes about... This isn't a car. It's a Razor. Yeah, it's a Razor. How fast does the Razor go? My butt. What's this wrong mic is in my asshole. I guess we'll never know. No different than a go-kart, other than the fact that it's bigger and you're going off jumps. A go-kart doesn't have suspension, and you will not want to be doing what we did in a go-kart. <laughs> Plus, you'll probably get a spinal injury. What is that? Oh, that one hurt me. That one hurt me. <laughs> so don't put suspension on the go-kart to make it like five, six inches taller. No. The big one! Nah, this shit was sick. I didn't expect it to be as gnarly as it was. That was awesome! You're my favorite, Bucky! So I'm having this race where I'm racing a few people. Yeah. And I want to make sure I win because my life's on the line. Yeah. What is some secrets that you could give me that they can't Google? I don't know what the rules are. No, it's no, no rules. rules, right? <gasps> have a few weapons, like some little oranges you could throw. We should do that. Would you be down for that? Grant that Auto style race? Mario Kart, dumbass. Oranges. Hey, yo, don't talk to me. Thank you for that experience, you know? I'm glad you were stoked on it, man. It was actually fun for me to drive this thing. Goodbye. Thank you. Hey, you talking shit. I'm in an interview, you talking shit. I think I'm an excellent driver. I love racing people. I run at a go-kart track in Riverside, race my friends, hopefully I win. Errol, a good friend of mine, and it's a high chance he's gonna be last place. Jasper, he's an excellent driver. 
but the fun he wants to have will overtake him trying to come in first place. Lionel, one, it's a high chance he won't fit in the go-kart. <laughs> 10 laps, no rules. <laughs> We do have bananas, eggs, tomatoes, and water balloons. Damn, look, it's egg all in my ass. I never noticed that. I got egg on my dick in my ass. Wow, he got egg on his dick and in his ass. I said own it. Right here, throw it. Oh, damn, you got good aim. Faraday Future makes the best electric racing cars, so why not steal their technology to make mine? What's up, dude? Hi, Tyler. how you doing? What's up, G? Nick Sampson. Welcome to uh, Faraday Future. Oh, OK. Faraday Future was originally founded back in April of 2014 from just uh, a handful of people sitting in an office. Less than three years later, we've got over 1,500 people in a global organisation. What car did you come in today? Um, I'm a McLaren. And how much horsepower has that got? Dude, I, I forgot. It's 0 to 60 at 2.9. 2.9? Yeah. Don't you want to go in a fast car? This unit here, that's got more horsepower than your McLaren. I believe that. There's two motors in there, one motor here, another motor there. That goes in the back. And just for good measure, we stick another one in the front. So three motors. Wow. Y'all putting three. We're putting three. Y'all wilding. <laughs> <laughs> and then under here, you've got the uh, battery pack completely under the whole floor. Wow. The difference between... Um, now and probably 10, 12 years ago, most electric cars were, I don't know, they were made for geeks. Gross. They were expensive. That's one of the, the things that has changed. And I think Tesla proved to the world that you could produce a great car that happens to be electric. Thank you for having me. Okay, well, Give great me to see you. Hug. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, cutie. Hey, up, how are time? you? Welcome. Formula E is uh, a new recipe of motorsports with a strong focus on electrification, energy efficiency, and energy management. I'm working with some, with some people to get a go-kart built. I wanted an electric one, mm -hmm. so I just wondered how I could take this to another level. I think the most important thing for Tyler to take into consideration in, in his go-kart is, is keep it simple. I'm sure you're thinking about a steering wheel for your go-kart and everything. This Formula E steering wheel probably looks more like your Xbox controller. Those controls are set up so you absolutely minimize the amount of time that you're not looking down the track. Mm, it's really smart. Sure. I want to take this off a ramp, the go-kart, like some jumps. That would be an interesting... Uh... Yeah. Maybe putting big wheels and letting it sit higher and then like going off of stuff. There's been some experiments in the off-road space with EVs but there needs to be people pushing the boundaries. Definitely think about all the basics. We're keeping your center of gravity as low as possible, first and foremost, right? That's gonna set the table for when you look at finding a, a battery that's the right blend of power and energy density. Uh, so you have the ability to run it off-road and on-road. What up, G? How are you? Good. Chilling? What? What's that? Chilling. Chilling, man. So you like batteries? Imagine. Do I like batteries? I, I do like batteries. Yeah. My stripper name's Wet Battery. Wet Batteries are, yeah. 
True. Wet batteries are dangerous, huh? Yeah, a little exactly. bit. Exactly. It's all good, though. So do you want to have a look at some batteries? Yep. All right, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's go for a walk. Having a go-kart where all I have to do is charge it and don't have to do like the oil, gas, water, like weird thing will be kind of cool. If you open up pretty much any kind of battery, there's two electrodes, a positive electrode and a negative electrode. And then there's something called active material. And that's kind of the special sauce that stores the electricity. At some point, we'll be able to offer a better car that's better for the planet. Uh, we can accelerate our vehicle with over a thousand horsepower, which you'll get very soon. Uh, zero to 60 in less than 2.4 seconds. If you fell off a building, you would hit 60 miles an hour in 2.7 seconds. So this is actually faster than falling off a building. Wow, I'm building a go-kart right now and it's battery operated. Yeah. And I'm hoping that it gets up there. Not to a thousand, but I'm hoping that it's yeah, quick. Yeah, a thousand horsepower in a go-kart. You'll probably so, die. That's a, that's a bad idea. Would you get in it? Would I get in a thousand horsepower, battery powered go-kart that you built? No. I'm excited to see what this car is like when I ride in it. Yo, I'm Matt, I swear it. to God, if I get hurt, hey, I'm Jasper. Hey, Jasper. you're done. Yeah, I know. Like your whole family <laughs> is <laughs> murdered. All right? All right? Fair enough. So keep me safe. All right, I will. He thinks I'm joking. That's the funny <laughs> part. <laughs> it's my pet banana. I can see he doesn't have much of a life left. Mm -hmm, yeah. Take care of him. You guys ready for this? I wore brown specifically. That's for a good today. idea. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll mention why. Okay. This is our prototype beta car. We've been testing for over two years. So we're gonna show you a little bit about what our car can do. Zero to 60 in 2.39 seconds. Yes. Okay, Matt, when you're ready. Copy that. Crash it! Crash it! <laughs> the car is very agile. It responds exactly how the driver wants. We call that neutral steerability. <laughs> <laughs> the rear steering helps us turn when the driver wants to uh, and also stabilizes the car. Oh, yes, yes, hit him, 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 hit him. Hit him. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yes! Oh, That's the FF91. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I need this. Thanks for coming out, guys. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed your time. I love you. <laughs> love you too, bro. <laughs> oh, we're going to hug it out? All right, look, I'm, I'm going to hug it out. I'm hoping the go-kart will look like a regular go-kart, but function like an off-road beast for Mad Max. I'm going to say one wheel, it's a little idea mock-up, and hopefully they come back with something drivable. One wheel is an incredibly fun way of moving through the world. You can ride on uh, dirt, you can ride on sand, you can ride on pavement. Um, really, you know, whatever you can imagine, you can probably ride it with a one wheel. But not curbs. For show, sure not curbs. So future motion. Is... Ah! So future motion is the. Ah! Future motion seems like a good place to get this go kart built. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the motors and the batteries out of one wheels, and we're gonna put four of them together and build a four wheel drive electric go-kart that's gonna be insanely fun. I have never built a go-kart before, uh, but I've ridden them a lot. So here you have tires. Then you have a front like a regular go-kart. This engine will be eco-friendly electric and green. Green, green for the earth and the birds. Building a go-kart out of one-wheel components is going to be a, a bit of a challenge. The motor is actually in the wheel. In a one-wheel, we just control one individual motor at a time. But now we're going to have to control four of them all together, going the right direction at the right speed. This idea is probably crazy, but I think it's going to be insane, and we're going to love it, and we're going to learn something along the way. And my tires will be a little thicker and bigger where they could go off-road. Right? You understand that, right? I mean, if you're combining the power of four one wheels into one vehicle, it's got to be pretty nuts. It's going to go like 20 or 30 miles an hour, and it's going to be four wheel drive. So it's just going to maul. And then we have some type of 
little cage, roll cage, where I don't fall out and die. We've got a steel frame that is gonna get welded up, and then underneath, we've got the battery pack and the controller. Then you have a seat and a steering wheel. The seats have to match my belt. We're gonna make it controlled like a video game. So you literally have a controller in your hand with little joysticks. That talks to a computer which controls the motor. So riding this cart is gonna be like real life Super Mario Kart. That's my dream thing. That's the go-kart. That's what we're getting right there. Hopefully it comes out good. <laughs> Who's this? It's an eight-hour drive to Floopy Land. We get there, and I see this little chair thing. I'm like, oh, this must be like some random mock-up thing. And I'm like waiting, and I'm like, oh, they're going to bring out the real go-kart soon or whatever. And then I start looking, and I'm like, what? If I, A, don't like something, or B, don't know how to respond without hurting your feelings and just want to lie to get the f out of there, I usually reply with a vague, wow, that's crazy. And hoping that you're like, yeah, and then I could leave. This is crazy. This cart has a lot of torque. It's not a conventional go-kart. It's more like a bobcat or like a piece of heavy equipment that could just spin, or like a tank. Built a roll cage, put a six seat on it, and here it is. Shit. It's controlled by a video game controller. It feels like you're in the video game. They made the steering wheel a PlayStation 2 controller. It's 2030, and they still have access to a PlayStation 2 controller? How dare you? What made you guys want to do that? We just wanted to create something that, you know, was, was unique, and because of the way it steers, it doesn't really make sense to have a steering wheel. What I got back is 100,000 times different than what I envisioned. What are you gonna call it? This will be called the San Clemente Diablo. The San Clemente Diablo. Whoo! <laughs> yes. And the it secret nuts. name Oh, that only me name. and Jasper will call this <laughs> is Mark. 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 Yep. Mark. This is 100% a concept car, but I'm going to still give it a spin. Where do my feet go? Feet go in front you of talk. you. You got to grab talk. your controller out from under there. I just drove eight hours Spent two months waiting for this shit. Shit is trash, ho. Then I get on it. This go-kart is electric, <laughs> not gas. But it is Four wheel wheels. drive. And it's nowhere for a nigga to put his feet. <laughs> Y'all crazy. All right. <laughs> this is the San Clemente Diablo. Oh, shit. My shoes! These are new! Ugh. All right. Oh, shit! In my opinion, instantly changes. Dude, it was like a little, I was a little crazy man. I felt like the little man from Austin Powers just come here and chasing people. Slow down! Slow down! Oh, shit! Ah! Break! Ah! Ah! Break! <laughs> yeah, did you get that? Sometimes you really can't judge a book by its cover. And it's really much deeper than just that stupid little car. I mean, we could be talking about people, music. <laughs> Dude, that's not saying. Oh, it is? Says who? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Who the f is OSHA? <laughs> Do I look like I give a f You look stupid. I don't care about this. Slow down. I'm going to kill you. 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 Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah. man commenting. Yeah.
Diablo, <laughs> AKA Mark. That was so f crazy. Look at my feet. I'm back in the homeland. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. This is great. <laughs> I first saw it, I'm not gonna lie, and I was like, yo, these dudes are idiots. <laughs> and this shit is actually amazing. It's like, it's level. actually crazy. <laughs> what the <laughs> Well, it looks oh, like the prototype test was a success. <laughs> People were scared. Not a success. I look homeless. <laughs> People were scared. It was I that car up, dude. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I'm sorry. I'll pay for it. Damn it. I should have wore pants, a face mask. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's for the camera. I thought that. Was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought so too. Coming at I you. I thought you were helping me. I think dirty is the new clean. Dirty is the new clean. No, that's just some weird <laughs> dirty is the new clean. white people hippie <laughs> shit. That is disgusting. <laughs> I like showering. I don't know if we're quite ready to go to the to race on the track on this thing. That not only would kill me, but my all friends the, all those around you, all and their love future ones. children. You care about, yeah. Was it a failure? Well, it depends. You have to look at it objectively. Our main goal. An electric go-kart that's, you know, usable. Did we fail in that sense? 130%. Fun factor, though. Think we succeeded. You sure you don't want to try it? I don't want to, I don't feel like getting dirty. <laughs> you dirty already. Oh, you touch me? You dirty <laughs> touch me. I'm out of here. Who's the idiot now? Golf Media! Hey, you suck as shit. I'm in an interview, you talking shit.